morning everyone. Um, managed to figure out uh, why some of our stuff around authentication wasn't working in the last episode. Um, I went ahead and ran Firebase init in the folder um, and it just basically you do Firebase init. That initializes some of your options. Um, what I also did sorry, was um, debug some of my code. It turns out in the root reducer I had to put these squiggly brackets around the Firebase reducer and the, the Firestore reducer in order to get it to recognize it in the um, in the state. Um, and then also I had to basically fix some imports. I think something else was going on with this. So now this looks all good and let's go ahead and test it. Um, we should be able to see now, oops, should be able to see now um, once we load npm start. Uh, we see that we have our Firebase and it is in our store.getState. So we have, if you look at the current state, we'll have the Firebase and the Firestore. Um, this may not be authenticated, but hopefully that would be take care, taken care of by our components that we added. So what we're looking for is our login and our, our um, uh, buttons that we added to the header. So let's check that out. So the header, um, right now it doesn't look like it has our new buttons there. So let's go ahead and put those in. So for the header, oops. Ah. should be there. Um, so the state Firebase auth might be false. But that should make these props show up if it's saved correctly. Um, possibly not. So we see the drawer toggle, um, but we don't see our buttons. So something's going on. Um, let's just um, try commenting this stuff out for now. And let's just put in the raw buttons. Let's see why we, we are getting this. So let's do register button and login button. Oops. this show up now. Okay, we have register and login. Um, for some reason clicking on those doesn't toggle anything. Uh, let's look in the buttons themselves. So let's see. So toggle log login modal is not bound to the button. So let's do on click for this. we don't have something like that on the register button either so let's try that yep. okay so toggle it's okay so login something's still going on with this uh, let's see if this works if we We actually have to put the, the href, the on click on the href. So let's move that to here. So let's see if the register modal works now. Button. Let's take that, put it 
here. Okay, so something's going on. Let's just refresh. Uh, looks like so our UI login middles of modal is true. Um, so what happened, I think, is we we're just missing implementing that modal itself. So the modal might just not be listed under our character sheet. So, um, yep, so we only have the side drawer, the traits, we don't have the modals going on here. So let's, let's import those. So let's do register modal and let's do login modal. Okay, and we gotta import those. So modals, register modal. Okay. There we go. So, as you can see, refresh this, register. Have something broken on the register modal. Looks like I named something class name with one S instead of class name with two S's. Uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, and then also backdrop, nothing was rendered. This username's return statement was missing. Huh. Uh, so this backdrop might uh, be missing something. It misses it's missing a type. So type equals uh, this is going to be a register modal. Okay, there we go. So now we've got a login modal which has your email address and your password, and you've got a register modal, which has your username, uh, email address, password, and a verification. So let's go ahead and see if our routes are working. So we'll try to register, and I'll just put like fake at gmail.com. Oops, that's my, that's my username. Let's do that again, fake at gmail.com. And let's just type username is test user one. Um, let's make the password something easy, like password1 or something. Okay, sign me up. Uh, looks like I got an auth error. So, first for argument email must be a valid string. So, can't read the property button 1 of null. Ah. So, in our header.js, I think it was expecting... Um, something called button one and button two. So let me just check that. Um, right, so that was expecting the, these things here. Um, which, properties for those. Looks like it's just happening in this auth. So the register modal has a class. Um, or it should be class name. So let's replace all these class. Let's do find all and replace with class name. better. Okay, um, property button one of null. Oh, I see. So what's happening now is we do have an authenticated state. That way it's hit, that's why it's hitting this um, const um, and it's getting these buttons and it's trying to put them in. So 
button one may have to have some properties. Um, let me just double check. So this, these buttons should not be declared as uh, objects. That's my bad. Because it's looking for properties of them, and it should just be returning the things themselves. So let's see if this works. Um, there we go. So this is actually what we expect. We have a logout. Uh, the button's not bound yet, it doesn't look like. But let's see if we our authentication has worked. So let's go to store.getState. Oops. And we should see the auth as a object now. So this auth, there's no auth error, and we see this Firebase, and then an auth token object on that. So this actually has our auth domain, which is our React tracer sheet, 5e.firebaseapp.com. And you can see our email is here, and uh, we can see our emails verified, which we haven't verified our email yet, but they are loaded, so we have an access, t access key and access token. So to verify that we actually did log in correctly, we can look at this authentication. And we'll just go ahead and refresh this. And as you can see here, we have our fake uh, user input. So that means we are logged in, we are authenticated. So that's the good news. Um, if we want to log out, trigger that log out, um, we'll just have to make sure it's bound properly. I'm sure I didn't log out, find the log out button as I should have. Um, Correct. There's no, <clears throat> there's no trigger on this logout button. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, we tested registering, and we just have to make this a have an onclick um, that triggers logout. Oops. Logout. I spelled that wrong. There we go. So let's this. Let's click it. Nothing happens. Uh, we we actually have to make this so const logout equals this stuff props. Uh, and we do have to wrap that in object statements. So let's go ahead and test this out. Boom. Dispatch is not a function. Uh, I believe we have to also. Huh. Uh, we imported connect from React3 docs. Uh, oh, we have to import. Yeah, we import logout from more actions. Okay, let's see where this bug is happening. Uh, dispatch is not a function. Uh, this dispatch might be namespaced improperly. Um, connect. Uh, we oh uh, we we need to map a null for the for the map state to props since we don't have a state, but the logout is going to be mapped through the dispatch, so that should be working now. So uh, this reloaded. Let's try it now. Logout. Cool. So now we see. Uh, log in and register. I believe it's not um, formatted correctly, but let's click register. I believe login should be up here. Uh, let's try to give this stuff some spacing. Um, so it already has the UI write menu. So let's just go into uh, give this a style. Let's say like write there you go, register button, right menu. Uh, let's call it margin, let's do 
float right, maybe? There we go. Um, again, this is not perfect. We just want it to be up, showing up in the right place on the screen. Um, let's just put that in the CSS. Um, and then let's do it for the login button. It's going to be just the login button. So that's probably going to float to the right too now. Well, maybe not. Um, let's take a look. Something's, something's not working. I uh, got the layout. Login button, right menu, float right. Uh, for some reason, it's just not visible. That's weird. Um, maybe the color is wrong. It's off. Blue. No. Display block. We actually probably want this displayed inline. Maybe only one of these can be uh, float right. Uh, let's try to like uh, uh, comment this out or comment this one out. Actually, I might have. Uh, Properties ignored due to displaying in line. Okay. So we'll want these to be, um, if they're displayed in line, maybe margin, right? Zero pixels or something. Actually, we can just have them display position relative, maybe. So let's do position relative right zero pixels. Right higher pixels. That didn't work. Um who knows what's going on here. So do just position absolute for now. And then do right zero. Maybe this display in line was a mistake. Okay. Do like right forty pixels. I might just have to refresh this browser. Okay. All right. Sorry, as you can see, CSS is not my favorite thing to do. Uh, looks like it's displayed 
Oops, sorry. For some reason, those still aren't showing up. Display contents for some reason that's what's showing up. So we'll just get that to display it. Nope, never mind. So these don't look like they're playing together well. should just be display inherit apparently. Um, for whatever reason. Um, I'm just going to take these off. Still not showing up.
wonder if I'm just not making this. Oh. Display and then. Well, clearly this is uh, <laughs> being a bit annoying. Um, so, the register is uh, working. Let's uh, find a better way to implement this login button. these in there in divs. I think what's happening is it's just showing up behind this character sheet thing since its position is fixed. Um, let's go back in the CSS. Sorry, that just took forever to figure out. So login, there we go. Um, let's try logging in again. So what was our email address? It was like fake one, fake at gmail.com, I believe. And our password was um, password one. So I hit enter. Uh, it looks like that worked. It triggered my last path thing from going off. So I should be logged in now. Uh, I have my switch statement applied to the uh, the header, which is showing the, uh, instead of showing login and register, it's just showing null and log out. Um, so logging out works, logging in works, um, and registering, we just tested already. So that works. So that's a good progress. Um, I know this is kind of like a part two from my other last episode, so I just wanted to get it in a working state. I had to debug some stuff. Um, so now that it's working, I'm just gonna go ahead and commit what I have and call this episode today. Um, in our next one, uh, now that we have logging in handled, I'm gonna start going back in and adding more of these features uh, or these uh, co custom components for building out the character sheet. So probably do stats next, um, cause that's a big one. Um, then I'll get into some of the other components. Once we have this basically done, um, I can go into this database, which is our fire store, and we can create a list of characters, basically by starting a collection, having those characters objects. And so every time we call in this um, save and lo load button, which we don't have anything yet, but that will basically either save the characters as a NoSQL array of an object, um, or we can load a specific character, and the list of your characters will show up in this um, basically in that modal that we created. So when you log in, 
now we get this list of characters. It'll show your list um, from this Firebase store, and you can click load, and it'll just push in all the stuff into your store. So uh, that's what you should be looking forward to in the next episodes. Um, now that we have authentication working, um, so yeah, feel free to drop a like in the in the comments or drop a comment in the comments and drop a like on the video if you're enjoying this course. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to. Uh, reach out to me um, or just drop, browse through the um, GitHub and I'll make sure to update this episode with the GitHub stuff. So I hope you're enjoying the course. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.